when I'm in the half guard here, what I need to do is look to pick a side, okay? So what, my partner's gonna try and keep my hip centered by pinching his knees to the center here. Okay, so that when I try to drive my knee out for a knee cut, it's gonna be very difficult now and I'll feel very off balanced. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step out. Okay, so I'm just gonna take off the upper body grips just to show for now. Okay, so I'm gonna take my weight and sprawl through this top hip. Okay, so I'm gonna aim to sprawl my weight to this knee. Okay, so I'm gonna sprawl my weight here on the bottom of the knee, again, on the end of the lever and connect the leg to the mat. This way is committed his hips to one side, which will make it easier for me to progress through to knee cut. Okay, so I'll be here with the upper body grips. I'm gonna step out first, okay? I'm gonna to look to sprawl down onto the leg. So all my weight is coming through my hip and it pins and makes like a little leg sandwich, okay? It connects his leg to the mat. From here then, okay, I've still got my upper body grips. I'm gonna further accentuate, okay, his head away from his legs because he wants to crouch in nice and tight, which makes it hard for me to bring this foot inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wring his spine away, okay? So he's trying to look down towards his knee, connect his knee and his elbow. What I'm gonna do, if I just turn you here, I'm gonna pull his head away from his knee. Okay, so open him out. So I'm here and I just wring his spine away. I drive a lot of weight through my bicep to make space here for my leg to come on the inside. Okay, so he's crouching in tight. I catch the head and the arm. I'm just gonna peel his head away. Okay, forcing him to look the other direction. From here now, I can base my knee to the mat, okay? And bring my foot in, either to peel, so I'll bring my toes into the knee pit. I'm not sure what that's called, but it's like a knee pit. Okay, bring them in, and I can start to pry through, okay? If you can't bring your toes in, okay, if that's not enough, you can also bring the palm of your foot. It's not the palm, is it? It's the, what is that called? So. Oh sole, the sole of my foot onto his thigh, okay? and press. So as I do this, I put lots of weight through the upper body to keep him isolated. I keep my upper body square so that he, I'm not like turning or twisting. I'm keeping it square and in place. And it's just my hips that are gonna move. So I'm gonna lift and drive free. So, restart. So I'm in the top half guard here. I flattened him out. Okay, so I've got diagonal control. What I need to do now is pick a side. So I'm gonna to look to knee cut pass. So I'm gonna step out and drive my hip through to sprawl his leg to the mat. Okay, so I can connect it to one side. So I step and look to sprawl his leg so it's flat to the mat now, okay? From here, his elbow and knee are gonna to try to connect by crunching in. So I keep control of his head and I wring the spine away. Okay, like a dishcloth. I pin my knee to the mat and now I can bring this in either to peel or press on the knee, okay? Or you can do a combo to free your leg up from the knee cut. 